Hello, hello, good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, Anita. teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Martha. How are you, Anita? Tell me, how was your day? Well, today was a very interesting day because I wake up at high ten. Woke up. Woke up. Woke up at five ten because today I put the first um, vaccine, COVID vaccine. Oh, really? Yes, and I real really feel all my body pain, but not for the vaccine because yesterday I remember that I, that I'm forty. I play basketball for one hour and I remember I'm 40. Oh, really? So today everything hurts. Yeah. You're hurting. Today. Everything, yeah. everything. <laughs> everything hurts. Yes, my heart, my nails, all. <laughs> everything, all, all over your body. Yes, I remember I'm 40. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, that happens. Don't worry, don't worry. You're not the first, you're not going to be the last. Yes. And it's just a number. <laughs> well, my body say another thing. <laughs> okay, your body doesn't agree with me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's always good to, to do exercise. It's nice. Well, what you need to maybe. remember is that you don't have to overdo it. Yes, I know. My friend because remember. That's the me. problem. Sometimes we overdo it. Yes. My my friend remember, please, Janita. Remind me. Remind me. Don't overdo it. But maybe it's my, how do you say defect? I don't know, is that quality uh, or effect? Okay, yes, yeah, tell me which one. To, to push yourself, you mean? Presionar, no. you mean? Yes. How do you say uh, defect? A defect? Defect. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's my defect. Okay, well. No, you know, it's always good to push yourself. That helps a lot. I mean, uh, if you don't push yourself, you never know which are your limits. Yes, that is true. And in this life, something that we need to do is to know which are our limits. Do not what? To know which are our limits. Conocer cuáles son nuestros limits. Okay, okay, yes. It's always good. Yeah, and you know what you should do, what I would advise you is to exercise more regularly. Yes, I need make exercise more regularly. Yeah, Two months yes. ago, I run yes. every day. Uh -huh. I used to. I used to run. I Hello. used to run. Yeah. I used to run every day. Oh, really? That's nice. Yes, five kilometers. And what happened? Tell me. <laughs> well, I'm here. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, I don't know. The question, the I don't question know. is this. What happened? Why are you not running no more? Mm, before my travel? I don't take again the exercise. Well, you need to take it back because I mean, exercising, you know, if you leave it for a little while, then it's hard to start again. Yes, it's very difficult, but I try. I, I'll try. You must try, you have to try because it's very good and very important for your life to do exercise as usual as possible. 
Yes, of course. I am yeah, yeah. completely, completely agree with you. Yeah. You know, exercising, man, I know it because sometimes I have stopped going to the gym and man, to take it back again, it's like, oh, I don't want to, everything hurts and I'm tired and my sofa is very comfortable and you just don't want to. Yes. <laughs> You describe me exactly. <laughs> yeah, I've been there, done that. I mean, that has happened to me a couple of times. Now I have this problem to go back to the gym. It's going to take me some time. And what about you? You you go to the gym, or you prefer another exercise, another Actually, kind? I used to go to the gym. Oh, really? Yeah, but now with this accident, yes, I cannot do exercise because mostly what I do is uh, I lift weight, I uh, un poco de peso, and a little bit of, you know, chest, arms, uh, abs, legs. Yeah, so but, only in the gym. Yeah, but just at the gym. Well, actually, we used to exercise here at home with my son. But the problem is that my son, you know, he's 19 years old. He exercises a lot. Yes. <laughs> he's very young. And, and what about the, the cardio? No, I hate cardio. Really? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh and you know okay. for doing cardio you need yes use yourself hey come on guys how come nobody's using your camera today come on what happened where's everybody hey maria ah that's different just give me a second Just a second, a second. Okay. Yeah, you know, cardio for me, uh, besides it's heavy, cardio to do cardio is pretty heavy. And tell me, what about you, Janita? You used to run. What else did you do? Um, before the pandemic? Yes. I went to the gym and I... I used to go. I used to go. I used to go. I used to go you I see? used to go to the gym and I make some yes. cardio and up weight what do you say levantar oh. peso lift lift, lift weight lift weight yeah I used to lift weight like like oh. you, uh, shoulders, legs, back, a little bit oh, really? something, yes. Okay, that's nice, that's but, nice. But now, nothing. Oh, you need to go back. Yes, I need, I know. Exercising is always good. I mean, uh, some people, some of your classmates, they don't go to the gym, but they uh, practice some sports, like we play goes for soccer, you know, that also helps. But you need to take it back, okay? Yes, I try, oh. I try. That's good, that's good. Thank you very much, Janita. 
Thank and you, welcome teacher. to the class. Thank you. Amber, finally, I get to see you again. You know, Amber's got like two, three classes that I just see the picture. Come on, Amber, you didn't want me to see you? Okay, no, you can again. Tell me, tell me. My presentation, teacher, is oh, not good. On. Come on, Amber, and tell me, how are you today? It was a good day for me, a good beginning of the week. Okay. Yes. What about you? I mean, oh, well, it's good. I got I got me this, you know, and this helps me a lot. Really? It works. Yes, it works the same as the cast, but I can tighten. I can tighten. Okay. I can tighten up. Or lose down. Puedo apretarlo, tighten up, or lose down, o aflojarlo. Apretarlo, so aflojarlo. Yeah, and it helps because, I mean, sometimes it gets swollen. A veces se inflama. Mm. So at that moment, what I do is just loose it up a little bit, and that's it. And then when it's normal, I get it back. Okay, I hope oh. to feel better. Okay, get, you get better. I hope to you feel better. <laughs> get better. Get better, okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. In a second. I need to record something. Okay. Well, and tell me, what did you do on Sunday? What did you do yesterday, Amber? Well, yesterday I went to church with my mom and then I went to the, the restaurant, uh, Pollo Campero. Oh, really? Have to to breakfast, yes, and to have finally breakfast. have to have breakfast. breakfast. Okay, guys. Now listen up. Listen up, everybody. It starts to rain, and it's a heavy rain. If I get disconnected, wait for me. Okay, because I can connect with the other computer. No, Maria, you owe me one class, Maria. And Roxana owes me two classes. Just one. Um, sure. Yeah, but with Maria, one day just Maria from your company, and the next day, the three of you. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Well, thank you, Amber. And it's nice to have you here in class. I appreciate you. you. Okay, okay, let's see. Now, Maria, explanation, tell me what happened there. Hi, teacher. Good evening. And the Friday is our my vacation, but it's not that the problem. And my grandmother, and I was a illness. And what she and she had a market for tienda. A job. A job. And on the afternoon, stay in the shop uh, uh, without helping or, or help. Okay, uh, you want to help? Uh -huh, I went to help because uh, uh, her, she, she has a rest. She needed or she, she has need, two rest. Or she has two rest. She had to rest, and I I come late. I came. I, I came, came late. I came late at the apartment, and in the my mother in the in the my grandmother house don't have an internet. Okay. 
Uh, at my grandma's house. My grandma's house. Don't add an internet. <laughs> at, no, look, listen, listen, listen. At my grandma's I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At my grandma's house. No. Like this. At my grandma's uh, house, there is no internet. At my grandma's house, there is no uh, internet. That's good. That is good when you go and help your relatives. It's bad that you were not in class. Yes, yeah, sorry, teacher. Okay, tell me. And how old is your grandma? Mm, 75, maybe. 70 what? 75. 75? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> I don't That's remember. a lot. That's a lot. That's nice. 75. Well, and what about your mom? How old, how old is your mom? My mother have and My mother is... My mother is... Uh, 15 years old, maybe? Yes, yes. 50. 15. 50. 50. Uh, 15. Oh, 15. <laughs> 15 years old. Okay, okay, that's nice, that's nice. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank Appreciate you. having you here. Okay. Okay, and Roxana, hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, I am fine, what about you? I'm fine, tired, but fine. Tired? Yeah. Okay, why? What did you do? I mean, you don't look tired in your case. It's more like, oh. Um, come on, what's up, Roxana? You're the smiley one here. You, Janira, and Maria are the smiley ones, all the time smiling. The serious one is Amber. Amber is always serious, like this. <laughs> the serious one. Oh, now Amber is smiling. Great, excellent. Nice <laughs> smile. Yeah, Roxana is always the one smiling, right? So tell me, Roxana, what did you do today? How was your day that you feel so tired? I was working hard all day and uh, I, I had some meetings and I don't know, I think that is it was a busy day and I feel that uh, the weekend is, is so short. Oh, really? Why? You don't do nothing at home. You cannot send out a text. What? What's the problem? Yeah, this? <laughs> Yesterday. Okay. Um... Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got that phrase for you. Says who? Says who? Oh, it's como quien, quien dice. dice. Yeah, no, it's exactly that. Says who? Mm. Says who, teacher? Tell me. Me? I agree. <laughs> in, in, in work, too, because I call her and she doesn't answer me. Oh, so she doesn't do nothing at home and nothing at work. She doesn't yes. answer when it's, oh my God. Roxana, come on, Roxana. You need, you need to cheer up. Cheer up. Yep, cheer up. That's, get motivated. Yeah, I need that. 
right now I don't I don't feel very well. Well, don't worry, you just need to finish this class and you also need to finish the platform today and finish the final exam. And when you finish that, you can go back, you can go to sleep. No. no problem. La pausa por su día. No nos entendimos, solo necesita terminar la clase, terminar la plataforma, el examen final esta noche y luego puede dormir. Todo okay. el tiempo que le sobre, todito el tiempo. Ah, que le sobre, sí, mucho. You can sleep. Ok. Ok. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Thank you, Roxana. Nice having you. You see, when I talk to you, I gave you reasons to be smiling. ¿Cómo? I gave you reasons for you to smile. Le di razones para sonreír. I just remind you all the activities for tonight. Solo le recuerdo las actividades de este día. And you got like, so happy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, okay, let's see. Thank you very much, Roxana, and welcome to the class. You're welcome. See, that's the way you gotta be. You gotta be smiling. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who else do I have here? Hey, Carlos, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, but actually I'm driving to my home, teacher. So Never mind me. Never mind me. We'll talk later. Okay. You got a presentation tonight. I never forget. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Yes, yes, keep on driving. Don't get distracted. Driving and, and talking sometimes is distracting. Okay, let's see. Elvia, hello, Elvia, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Yes, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, tell me how was your day? Uh, in my work, hard, at work, at work hard, uh, preparing check, payment, play, okay. and sending email. And the bill. Uh, preparing payroll. Payroll. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. That's heavy stuff. Yeah. So you've been busy. What about yesterday? How was Sunday for you? What did you do? And yesterday I got up at 7 a.m. Evan, <laughs> why? What for? Come on, it was a Sunday. Yes. And from the plants and bringing my house. And afternoon, uh, watch TV and got. Go to the shop. Oh, go shopping. Okay, I went shopping. I I went went shopping. I went shopping. I went shopping. You've been busy. That's nice. <laughs> Excellent. Welcome to the class, Sylvia. Okay, let's see, let's see who else is around. Marta, hello, Marta. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? I'm good, teacher. Okay. How was your day? My day was normal day, some calls. Um, many cases, uh, but I am okay. Okay, that's fine. Now, I, there's just a contradiction on what you told me. So, there's a contradiction. Okay. You told me 
some calls in many cases. I mean, if you have a lot of calls, you get a lot of cases, or it's not the same. No, no va en función de número de llamadas, número de casos. No. It's you can different. have. Okay, so you can have some calls in many cases. Yes. Oh, never mind. My bad. Yeah, <laughs> hey, no, it's no just problem, because teacher. I don't, I don't know, I don't know your area. I don't know your area. I mean, I don't know. Yes, I know. What to do? Okay. And what about yesterday? What did you do? Tell me. Yesterday, uh, Sunday, uh, in morning, um, I went to church. The church. In, uh, in the church. Uh -huh. In the afternoon, in the afternoon, I went shopping with my friends. Oh, cool. What did you buy? Tell me. Many things in Dollar City. <laughs> okay, tell me some. Tell me some. Oh, you know, that's a dangerous place to go. Many, many, many. <laughs> yeah. that, that place is dangerous to go. Yes, I know. Very dangerous. I mean, you go yes. looking for one thing. And you come out many, with many bags. Many things, yes. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> the, same, the same happens to me when I go to the... To the uh, if I go to the hardware store. It's dangerous, this, this store. The same thing happens to me if I go to the hardware store. Okay. Yes. That, do you know what is hardware store? Yes. Hardware store? Yes, ferretería. Exactly. The same happens to me. I go to the hardware store, man, and I come back with many different things. Hey, look, Janita, she turned off her lights. <laughs> Is that a blackout, Janita? I have a blackout. Oh, oh, that's cool. I, I, I see, I'm I, with battery. Maybe five minutes. Oopsie, let's hope it comes back. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Martha. Nice talking thank to you. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, Wilfredo. How's everything? How was your day? Fine. fine. A, little, a little busy, but, but it was good. Um, okay, what did you do today? Many things, many, many things, because we had to finish many reports that we didn't complete uh, Saturday because we have to go to work. Um, we need to, uh, we didn't co accomplish some goals, uh, chipping adherence, rights and adherence. A new styles, but <clears throat> our boss told told us Friday in the afternoon. Hey guys, we have to come tomorrow to job. Ouch! Yeah. And That's then bad. today we need to. We need uh, we, we need we need, need we need to check um, the the. We need need to introduce introduce uh, overtime. Uh, oh really? Yeah. yeah, today we start to using a new a new uh, system to work, but it was it was hard in the morning because they give us some trouble to start, but. Uh, around uh, 11 a.m., we we were ready to jump. Okay, they gave us. They gave us. Gave us. Give, give is in present. Gave is gave. past. Yeah, gave us. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, well, but, you know, but it whenever is... we get a new system, we have, we expect to have trouble. Yeah, but... Yeah, you're Some not guy the you, yeah. teacher, you you told told us uh, this this phrases 
some yeah that's the way it is yeah, yeah you but, know but the... I, I didn't remember I, I didn't write it okay just hold on hold on hold on hold on And what about you, teacher? I saw you in your in your hand, a feula. Yep, because uh, if you remember, I took up the cast. Yeah. So yeah. I went and bought this. Gajes del oficio, occupational hazards. Occupation, let me copy, teacher. Ocup occupational hazards. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you know the problem. You know what is the problem? The problem are programmers. Programmers are the the worst. I mean, programmers are the problem always. The problem yeah. is the programmers. But the change All in the company them. teacher, in our company, yeah. the changes it is um, always. Always we have to work with yeah, and, and the people yeah. from tech support. Oh man. Yeah, it's yeah, right. yeah. yeah I, I know some. I know some. Yo conozco unos por ahí. I got some in my class actually. Tengo algunos por aquí. <laughs> no. These people is they are problematic. I I, I can just kidding, just kidding. I saw the last week the the, the ladies explaining very, very well the, the system. Yeah, that's why I told you programmers, you know, programmers are the problem. Yeah. Okay, In, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great teacher. Come on, thank come you on. Much. You're joking me. No, no, no. You explain okay, very okay. well. In la no, lista. No. In the list. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good job last week. Yeah, Congratulations. Okay, oh my gosh, who disconnected? ¿Quién se me desconectó? Oh, no. Before anything else happens, let me get the attendance, please, guys. Amber Eli Alfaro. Amber. Present. Thank you. Andrea Beatriz Renderos. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pausa Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Here. Uh, Leslie Fernandez Ochoa, Linda Mardenia Costa Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Appreciate it. Nice hearing you. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Will Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Yanira Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo. And Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Carlos is driving. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Perfect. Well, thank you, Fredo. Now, Fernando, hello, how are you, my friend? How's everything? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's a good, it was a good uh, uh, inicio de semana. <laughs> Start Wait, of the start. week or beginning of the week? Oh, beginning oh, really? of the week. What did yeah. you do? Uh, 
It was a usual, a usual Monday. I have a lot of work, some meeting for, for planning the week. Okay. Um, then I practice a, a little, a little bit of exercise. Excellent. To to keep the the the, the form. <laughs> oh, okay. To keep the, the, the figure. <laughs> oh, to stay on shape. Stay in shape. Exactly. Stay in shape. Perfect. Yeah. Then um, here we are. Here we are and ready, you say. Uh, and ready to learn. Okay, learn that's great. every day. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Now, guys, let me make a small announcement. Déjenme hacer un pequeño anuncio. Just a, a reminder, un recordatorio, se me pide que les recuerde que, ok, que la encuesta de satisfacción, mañana lo hacemos juntos, un recordatorio de nuevo. Les menciono porque ya se nos dieron unos cuantos casos de que se les ha dicho y ya lo llenaron y se equivocaron y problem. Ok, así que mañana lo hacemos juntos, tranquilos. Eh, déjenme ver qué más plataforma realmente ya lo que veríamos este día es entre hoy y mañana es repaso lo que podamos terminar la plataforma entre hoy por la noche y mañana durante el día por favor porque yo mañana tengo hasta la medianoche para ingresar nota ok Teacher. yes Wilfredo en, en la tarea 15, si mal no recuerdo, hay, hay un ejercicio que todavía no, no, no se ha corregido en la plataforma. Para... Sí, todavía estoy en eso y estoy presionando ah. para que tal vez me lo arreglen ahora. Ah, ok. Sí, porque hoy, hoy estaba tratando sí. de, de... Ya me lo mencionaron. Que... Sí, ah, estoy okay. luchando con eso, que me lo arreglen. Este, okay. Pero mientras tanto, lo que podamos terminar, please, if we can do it between today and tomorrow before the class, I will be grateful. No se preocupen que yo igual mañana voy a esperar a, a la hora que sea para ingresar las notas, pero sí las necesito mañana. ¿Okay? Porque eh, el okay. reporte va para el día miércoles. Y les ruego, me disculpen, por eso se lo estoy explicando en español. Lastimosamente yo hubiese tenido un poquito más de margen, pero debido a esta situación, como ustedes recordarán, nos atrasamos un día pero la calendarización de entrega se mantiene, eso sí no me la mueven. Me reprograman clase, pero tengo que correr. Entonces, so please, if you can help me, and again, if you have any doubt, any question, please do not hesitate. Si tenemos una duda, una pregunta, por favor, en el momento que la tengan, háganla. Aquí con gusto estamos para ayudar. Now, let me see, because I am checking on the platform. And I got some of you, and algunos de ustedes, that, I mean, are almost finished on section four. Que la sección cuatro casi no terminaron. You've been working like every day, I guess. Lo que han trabajado casi todos los días. And day after, after the class, I imagine you finished. And I just have a, one person who has done nothing. Solo tengo una persona que no ha hecho nada de... Oopsie. Nada de la sección 4. Ok, I'll talk to that person. And the rest of you. Wow, Wilfredo, you did almost everything. That's all final. That's cool. Yeah, I got some of you that are just waiting for the final. So please, if you can do it, I will be very grateful. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's see, let's see. If you remember now, let me remind you something else. If you remember, I told you the last classes for me, with me, always are like this, mostly speaking. I want you to feel able to speak. And I'm going to push you into speaking in these classes. Okay, today, tomorrow, we are going to be speaking a lot. That's why, Silvia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Silvia, tell me. Um, I am good, and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, that's great. And tell me, how was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, I was very busy. 
on the weekend I had a lot of work and I feel I felt a little bit frustrated because too much work on the weekend but okay. now everything fine yes and when is your day up tomorrow or Wednesday mm, Tuesday tomorrow okay that's nice that's nice so tomorrow you relax yes i'm going to be okay here. now you're not going to relax you're going to finish me the platform okay uh, yes yeah, i'm going i'm going to work on that i'm sorry okay perfect perfect excellent no it's good yeah. that you have some time for your own excellent welcome to the class Lydia. thank you teacher happy to have you here Okay, now let's see. Next is going to be Rita. Hello, Rita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Rita. How are you? Uh, so so. So so. Come on. How so so? Why? What happened? Tell I me. had a stressful day in the work. You had a stressful day at work. At work, yes. Oh, really? Why? Tell me. I, what did you uh, do today? Uh, I make a um, report. Uh -huh. Very, very uh, important um, for for central office in the uh, United Oops. So it was very delicate. Yeah. But I wow. finished. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Yeah. Well, welcome to the class, Rita, and thank you. Thank you. Hey, Fausto, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Fausto? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, my day uh, in the morning, uh, I check a uh, stop. Only, only. Oh, uh, really? Yes. What? What are you doing? Inventory? Uh, it's also uh, only check, check, uh, okay. uh, something products. Okay, look, look, Fausto. You can say Saro, 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 Algo así, Saro, Saro. You can also say Saro in a way, but Saro in a way, uh, uh, sort of in a way is for people like me. Gente de mi lado usamos sort of in a way. Okay. Uh, uh, that's for old people like me. You are young. Uh, okay. Uh, in the afternoon, um, I I went I went uh, in the bank. To the bank. To the bank. I uh, make make. Uh, Remittance. Okay. Uh, only today. Okay, well, that's nice. So you've been busy. It's always good to be busy, to be working. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Now, when you say tramite, you're saying, uh, well, actually, when we say tramite, we are talking about a uh, procedure, okay? But when it's in the bank, okay? When it's a procedure you do at the bank, you say a uh, transaction, okay? Transaction, okay. Yes. Eh, no importa, eh, eh, sería cualquiera. Aunque okay. sea, digamos, for example, uh, that's a remesa, digamos, uno como lo... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Any, any, any procedure you do at the bank is a transaction. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Now let's see. I know I'm missing someone. I think I'm going to you. Uh, Francisco, Francisco, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Francisco? Working or on your way to work? Uh, why to work, teacher? Okay, okay. Well, don't worry, don't worry. I'll talk to Edward then. He needs to talk to me because he's told that you are very busy today. Yes, exactly. True. Thank you, Francisco. Hey, Edward, how are you? How are you, teacher? I, I come home. I, I take a show. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, don't, don't open the camera. Don't open the camera, please. No me va a no me va nada. Yeah, no, because these ladies automatically they went like, what, 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 what? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, guys, thank you very much. It's always good to have this little conversation. And remember, the objective of this exercise is this. El objetivo de este ejercicio, perdón que lo explique en español, pero quiero que quede claro para todos. El objetivo de este ejercicio siempre ha sido que se sientan cómodos hablando en inglés. Y la otra cuestión es, normalmente cuando llegamos, conocemos a alguien, conversamos una conversación simple, normal, es, hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue este día? Right? And right now, you are like pretty able to do that. Now, if we continue next level, I will have that and some other questions for you. Si continúan conmigo en el próximo nivel, tendremos esa y otras preguntas for the beginning of the class. But now let's continue. Let's see. Well, today, guys, we are talking about, again, we are still talking about procedures and policies. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Wilfredo, tell me, what happens in your company if somebody shows up late? Tell me, what happens if somebody shows up late? What happened if yeah. somebody shows up late? Shows up late. Um, it is allowed for us. We can do it. You can get late? No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you well. I, I guess that you are you asked me asked me about child, but no, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah. I, Show up means presentarse o llegar al yeah. trabajo o a un lugar. Yeah. But about a right late, always we can we can have some trouble if every day we are riding uh, always late. Uh, some tight or many bosses. Hey, come on, can you? Can you come on to the office and explain me why do you, why do you? Why do um, you come late? Yeah. Why do you, why do you do? Come late. And then we have to explain, but in our cases, teacher, um, I, I'm a supervisor. In my company, uh -huh. and many uh, I have some co-worker that we don't have any trouble. If, uh, for example, uh, two twice in the week I I uh, I arrive uh, late, they, they no no problem. But the operators, we have to check all all days, every day, the attendance at oh. seven. A.M. always, always. But if some people checking late, we have to talk with them. Hey, what's up? Because if if they um, summary in the week, the summary in the week, it is must. If they add, add as you must add. 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 And it's it's over. Se pasa de. It's over. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. If they 
over that 20 minutes, they lost your, your seventh day. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. hard. Because, but still they got some minutes that you can play with. Yeah, but, okay. yeah, but but sometimes the, the the people told us, um, hey, I I had trouble with my transportation. Uh, many, uh, it is common uh, accident. The uh, traffic jams. The traffic, but we uh, understand. But sometimes many people are liar because yeah, that's the traffic that's was hard. terrible but many people come these places no this, it is okay it was free normal. traffic yeah normal but we okay. have to talk with these people hey what's up this is not true uh, i'm sorry but we have to to give that report uh, about your Late arrival. Llegada, llegada tarde. Teacher. Okay, that's what I'm texting you. Late arrival. Late, Late arrivals. Arrivals. Yep. That's the formal name. Llegada tarde. Late arrival. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. This is common in our company. Talk about about late arrivals. Okay, well, thank you very much, Wilfredo. Interesting. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, Janita, what about you? Tell me. What's the procedure if you show up late? Well, if you show up late, you call uh, your supervisor or text your supervisor and explain what is the reason, but uh, I don't know if exists uh, a procedure. Yes, because it's, it's not common because we are um, homework. And okay, then- what about, what about when you were working in the office? You remember that you were working at the office? Yes. How was the procedure then? Well, I, I really, I don't remember um, a lot of people uh, getting late. Yes, getting getting late. Um, for example, uh, I begin my journal at eight thirty, but almost I I arrive at seven a.m. For the traffic, okay. I prefer um, a rural early than, yeah. than than late. late. Yeah, I'm and sure I can late. see and I can see all the people um, a rural on time. Only two person, two people late. Okay, uh, arriving late. Yeah. Arriving oh late. yeah, you told me. You told me it was Martha and Maria. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> she leer. But lies, lies. I don't say this, Marta. I don't say this. But these people work uh, from too late. Trabajaban muy tarde. Oh, okay. Until late, hasta tarde. Until late, yes. And then I don't know if make the company make a. Uh, uh, Politic about this? A policy. A policy about this. So if you show up late, you have to stay up to stay in the company until later. It's not a, a ruler, but I can a rule, see a rule. A rule. A rule. But I can see this. I could. I could see this. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Janita. Okay. Fernando, what about you? How bad is your company? Tell me. Uh, no worries, I, I, I work from home, but I went to the office, um, usually, 
at this one day, uh, one day of the week, I show late to work because uh, I my trip is Santa Ana, San Salvador, Santa Ana to San Salvador, and the traffic in Los Chorros it's very hard. And usually, yeah, it's interesting, very interesting. <laughs> and usually, there are um, at least one accident, but accident per day. And okay, was there a was there a specific procedure to report the late arrival? Uh, in my case, I I I call I call my phone to my boss and explain the situation. I explain the situation and he's uh, understanding. Okay. That's nice, that's nice. So it wasn't that complex. Yeah, so uh, the, the, the time I, I lost in, in this traffic, I, Lo reponía. Uh, well, I pay it back. Pay it back. Yeah, I pay it back. Uh, I pay it well, back. Actually, it's, it's in pass. It's in pass. Okay. In pass is paid. I paid it back. I paid it back. Yeah, I paid it back uh, in at the end of the day or even in after after we we came we came home after i came home uh i say yeah i follow i follow work no in oh, past I, again in yeah. present is keep in present uh, is yeah. keep in past kept, will be i kept on i kept on okay i kept on no. work uh, okay. working. I kept on work, work. I kept working. on working. On working. I kept on working to, I don't know, midnight. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my my word is 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 that. Um, I don't have a, a schedule. Yeah, you work with deadlines. Uh, I imagine and, in your case you don't work with most like with a schedule, but you work with deadline. Usted no trabaja con un horario en sí, pero tiene deadline. Eh, fechas límite. Yes. Yes. That's That makes difference. Yes. My word, though. That's just. Okay. Thank you. Very interesting. Thank you. Very, very interesting. Let's see. Carlos, you home already? No. Okay, all right. Keep on, keep on. Keep on, don't worry, don't worry. No problem, no problem. Let's see, what about you, Sylvia? Tell me, what house in your company? What about if you show up late? What's the process? What do you have to do? Hello, teacher. Yes. If a person uh, gets late or arrives work at, arrives late at work, um, my boss or the supervisor first ask ask him or ask her what is the reason. What is the reason, and then he or she receives a warning. A warning, and if it is very usual, uh, if it is very usual, that person receives like a how do you say, teacher? Memorando, a memo, a memorandum, a memo. Yes, that person receives a memo. Wow, it's very strict. Yes, it is, okay. but it, you, if it you, is usual. The, the person receives the oh, amendment. Really? It's yeah. common happens. Yeah. It's common happens. Es algo bastante habitual. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. but it's, it, if 
it's like an emergency. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, they are understanding. Yes. Okay. Now, look, Sylvia, you can also say if a person is late for work. Okay. If a person is late at work. For work. For work. Okay. If a person is late for work. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's complex. It's complex. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Thanks. Okay, guys. Now let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I need to get again the attendance. I'm sorry. La tomar de nuevo la asistencia. Amber Eli Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you, Amber. Um, Andrea Beatriz Ramiro Sublian. Edward Ademir Noyo Labrito. Present teacher. I am here. Elvia Janet Beltran de Cabrera. Yeah, we can see you. We can see you. Elvia Present Janet teacher. Beltran de Cabrera. Thank you. Paus Antonio Landaver de López. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Welcome to the class. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. And Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Oh, Roxana is away. That's cool. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Senira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Thank you, Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Okay, let's see. Just give me a second, guys. Hold on, Sandra. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, today we're going to go to the part of the conversation, okay? Part of the conversation. Let's check it out. Moment, I'm sorry. Share screen. Perfect. Okie dokes. Now let's see. The conversation for today's class goes like this. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him over. And when the person returns, he or she re receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, beca because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, let me repeat. Just give me a second, please, that I need to send you also the picture of the conversation. Okay, just a second. And the conversation goes like this. Hi, Annie. How is it going? 
Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. I repeat one more time. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, guys, we'll do the conversation part. I will divide you. This is very easy. So you're going to have like just five minutes to practice. Okay. Let me just get the groups created. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Hi, Annie. How how is how it is going? How Hello, is it Brad. Going? Um, Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when do when a work doesn't come to work? Well, if some if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him his situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Can I start? Hi, okay. Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thank, thank, Annie. 
Hi, Martha. I texted you the Monday and it's at the Zoom. Please check it out. Okay. okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome. It didn't show up. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Ali. Okay, switch again. I start. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification of work. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, Spraying him this pressure. Yeah, I think I will. Receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because warning. I didn't. Warning. 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 Why, Brad? <laughs> well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him. Explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Hi, I Okay, okay, let's see who's gonna be first. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, first. First gonna be Marta and Rita. Marta, you're going to start, please. Hey, teacher. Hi, Ali. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? I am okay. Thank you. No, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receive a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because they didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Very well done, ladies. Just remember, Martha, because I didn't, because I didn't. Okay, perfect. Now, Fausto and Fernando. Fernando, you will start. Okay, teacher. Uh, hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. 
What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification of work. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Very well done, excellent. Excellent, guys, congratulations. Amber and Roxana. Amber, please, you start. Okay. Hi, Annie, how is it going? Hello, Brad, I am fine, and you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, honey. Perfect. Thank you very much, ladies. Now, uh, Wilfredo and Janira, please. Will you start? You will start, Wilfredo. Ah, okay, okay. Hi, Yanni. How is it going? Hello, Wilfredo. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your, your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Wilfredo? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thank you, Perfect, guys. Very well done. Now, Elvia and Francisco. Francisco, you start, please. You, Francisco. You start, Francisco. How's it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? Okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if some doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she, or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Receive, receive, Elvia. Thank you very much. Now let's see Carla and Maria. Carla, you will start, please. Hi, Amy. How is it going? Hello, Brown. I am fine. And you? I am okay. And look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she received a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, what I didn't talk about to work today. I understand. 
If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yes, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, Maria, understand, understand. understand. Like that, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, last but not least, Edward and Sylvia. Edward, you will start. Okay, teacher. Eduard, you, you start, Eduard. Hi, okay. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, thanks. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Perfect. Both of you guys. Excellent, excellent. Well done. Now, before we continue, let's see who we're going to make presentation today. Can you make a presentation now? Hello. Nobody? No one? Sylvia, are you ready with your presentation? Hello, teacher. Uh, I am sorry, I'm not ready yet. Can I, is it possible to make the, rest the presentation tomorrow? Okay, Sylvia, thank you. Rita, what about you? Are you ready for your presentation? Uh, no, teacher. Um, tomorrow. Okay, if somebody is ready, please text me. Si alguien no tiene listo, por favor, escríbame, please. Okay, let's see, let's see. Now, let's see. Who is the good? Maria, tell me, what happens, Maria, when you get sick? How do you report that you are sick to the company? Uh -huh. How do you report to the company when you get sick? Uh, when I get sick, I send a message in the WhatsApp are the person, the human resource. Okay. And then I explain when I feel and I go to the doctor and when I when I go to the doctor, um, um, si tengo una incapacidad, <laughs> I don't know. A leave of absence. I leave of absence. Uh, then, um, say the time, and um, she report of my boss in Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic and explain Republic Republic Republic, Republic. <laughs> and explain what is the situation and on um, what uh, how many days off and when I return and only that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. I can. Eh, yo no sé. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when when fast or when is my my turn for the homework. 
Do you have it ready? Lo tiene listo. Yes, but not is okay. a presentation. When oh. I say presentation, I mean speak. Cuando digo ah. presentación me refiero a hablar. Show a little something and explain, okay? Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. I choose the product um, tiny house. Okay. Um, what is that? Tiny house are small houses than the regular ones. Um, in the tiny, in the other countries like the New Zealand, uh, England, United States of Can or and Canada, is very is very famous lifestyle because the person pay less for house than a regular or big side house. Uh, many people choose this kind of lifestyle because they prefer to live a life without debt and prefer to save money for their retirement. Um, uh, this life, retirement. Uh, retirement. Uh, this lifestyle is preferred by millennials. Uh, the difference between a regular house is it. it. Uh, you can choose build your own house or your own estate. Uh, usually the tiny house are built on container, but you also build to tiny house with wool or recycle or recycle product, product, recycle, recycled product. And the tiny house are less expensive than regular house uh, because of the size um, of the the because of the size of the house. Um, you can choose where to live. You decide rent or buy a piece of land where you prefer is best. For example, mountain, lake, forest, or a beach. Um, you choose where do you live because most of the tiny house are built on a trailer. Yeah. Uh, you can personal, personal, personalize, personalize the house. You can choose the building materials, uh, choose a wool, metal, recycled products, and the others. Um, the price of the tiny house is the down payment of a regular house because of this, you are not attached, attached to pay a house for many years. When you, la when you live in a tiny house, you can use a renewable energy, for example, renewable. solar renewable. renewable energy, for example, solar panels, or a different experience of the toilet, and you use a compost toilet, and you reduce the water con Consumption or consumo, consumption, and only that. <laughs> okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. There's just one little thing that is. Uh, I want to mention. Okay, you use the word attach. Okay. Me imagino que la idea era decir ligado, unido, right? Ligado a. Okay, yes. But the situation is that in this specific case, when you talk about that, that you get attached to regular payments, and decimos que estamos ligado a pagos, we say actually the verb we use is bound 
Oh, wow. and I'm to turn off of the TV. Hi. The only, the only thing that I want to, to make clear is this, look. When we say attach, look, uh, you know, guys, tomorrow when the class finish, I'm going to, to feel very bad because I am pretty attached to this group. Get the idea? When you talk about feeling, you use attach. Okay. You use that one when you are talking about feelings. So you say attached when we're talking about feelings. One sentiment, not of an obligation or a compromise. Estamos hablando de una obligación, un compromiso y you're talking about. If it's a, si es obligación, es high. Si es un compromiso, es bound. Bound. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, excellent. Yeah, tiny houses. I remember, I remember. I want to buy one. <laughs> but the difference yeah, you know. is... Uh, yeah. In the Salvador, the tiny house is a normally house, and the other country is, is a different because <laughs> I live in the present in a tiny house for than the other countries, but I don't know. <laughs> related to other countries? Related yeah, to the yeah, other yeah, countries. Yeah. And in Salvador, tiny houses are almost all the houses you need. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we live in a tiny, in a tiny country. <laughs> okay, now there, she also said right at the beginning, at principio, she mentioned a word that I'm going to tell you what's the proper pronunciation and don't worry if you don't hear the difference, but it's a little bit of a problem. It's a problemita because we are talking about, uh, let me explain something. The word is Canada. Canada. Okay. Uh, yep, Canada. Now, the problem when we say Canada is. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. The problem when we say Canada. Is that. Uh, in the pronunciation, hold on. Hold on, hold on, just give me a second. because I need to send you something. Okay, let me see, let me see. Okay, I got it. The problem is this, look. But the pronunciation is the pronunciation of Canada. Canada. La pronunciación de la primera A in Canada goes something like this. In Connecticut, three other dimensions. And the little symbol that is next to the A, el, el simbolito que está a la par de la A, it's schwa. And it means that the sound comes here. It's a mix. Quiere decir que es una vocal atona. Okay, the idea is this. Saque un sonido aquí entre A y E. A, oh, A, oh, Canada. Canada, 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 like that, like the last one, como el último, Canada, Canada, okay. because it's not Canada, and it's not Canada, it's 
Canada. Okay. That's Canada. It's a little weird, weird. It's a poquito raro, the sound. <laughs> That's the way it is. No worry. Okay. It, it takes practice. It takes practice. Okay. Thank okay. you very much, Maria. Congratulations. Very well. Very well. Very well done. Now, let's see. Um, Fernando, what about you? What happens when, when you get sick? How do you do? Okay, uh, sorry, teacher. I lost my connection, but but I can I come back. Uh, sorry, what is the question? If you get sick, what do you do? How do you do to report? What's the process? If you get sick, do you call the same day? You wait? You wait until you appear to the company three days later, or what? How do you do? Uh, in my case, when I get sick. Uh, in my in my work, uh, there are a, a clinic. Oh, there's there's a clinic. Oh, there is a clinic. There is a clinic. So when I get sick, I I tell you my boss, and I I I make an appointment to with the doctor. Uh, an appointment with the doctor, and. The, the nurse, the nurse um, agenda. Schedule. Schedule. The nurse schedule the, the, the appointment. Oh. Oh. oh, consulta medica? Yes, that's an appointment. That's an appointment. Okay. The, the nurse schedule the appointment and, and she, she gave me a. She gave me that the 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 time when when I when the doctor when is I, going to attend you. Exactly. Okay, so I I I go to I go to the clinic. Um, okay, and that clinic is in the company. Yeah. In, in the company, in the in the same building. The same building. Okay, that's not that good. So that means that you have to, you really have to go to the company. Yes. Yes, but uh, also I I I can go to um, Seguro Social. Okay. Yeah. Where uh, any 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 hospital. Okay. Oh, it's a clinic empresarial. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Now I get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Interesting. Now let's see. Sylvia, what about you? What happens if you get sick? What do you do? Uh, hello, teacher. The question Hi. is what happens if I get sick? Yeah. How do you do to report? Oh, yeah. Uh, if I get up feeling bad, I have to call to my supervisor and I tell her that I'm not feeling good and that I need to go to the to the clinic, to the seguro. I don't know how to say. Okay, where is that? Where yes. is the closest one? Excuse me? What is the closest one for you? What is, uh, I don't understand. Where, where is the closest one located for you? La más cercana. Ah, yes. I have to go to La Libertad. Oh, really? Yes. It's about 20 minutes drive from here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know, just give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. 
Do you hear me better? Which one I have? Yep. No? The same? So, so. Okay. So you need to travel all the way to Puerto de Libertad. Wow, that's hard. Yes, I have to travel. And then present a report? Yes, I have to present the report. Uh, if I, when I get to work again, I have to present the report. If I get America, if I get a medical absence, I have to send it through email and then I have to present it physical to the office. Yeah, and the constancy. If not, yes. you know, like, okay. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Interesting. Okay. What about you, Edward? What do you do if you get sick? Edward says, ah, no problem. No problem. Do nothing. Come on, Edward, tell me, what's the procedure? In my case, uh, call my boss only. <laughs> That's it. But, but uh, our, our employees, um, he tells, he tells, um, no, they tell me, they tell me um, for cell phone. And me explain the situation and after, after um, to me, I have a uh, fine when replace. Re uh, ¿Cómo sería que lo reemplace? Oh, a replacement, a replacement. Our replacement. Uh -huh. Yeah, hold on, uh, hold usually, on. I, I have to find a replacement. I have oh, to fine, find fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry. Fine, fine. fine. Okay. Oh, wow. So it's in your case, if so one of them doesn't appear, you have to work extra looking for somebody. Ah, usually um, the cleaning staff is um, training for 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 help help for help me. Um, okay. In occasion, um, si falta como, uh, if missing the operator okay. um, is is the docu uh, documental when uh, that replacement. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank you very much. Very interesting. As you can see, every company got different procedures. Now, guys, let me project something. Thank you very much, Edward. Appreciate it. Okay. Interesting. Now, guys, let's see. Here we go. How to use if and when to join clauses. Do you remember that we were talking about clauses? When and if have similar meaning. We use when for usual situations and if for unusual situations. Both clauses have to be in simple present. Use a comma when if or when come at the beginning. Okay, if you remember, I was explaining this to you last class, right? So what do you do when you forget your tools for work? I ask for backup set when I forget my tools. When I forget my tools, I ask for backup set. What do you do if you miss the company transportation? I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. If I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay. 
Now, guys, we've been talking about if we've been talking about uh, situations when we need to give explanations. And I've been asking you know, from somebody, what happens when you don't show up on time, when somebody gets late? What happens if you get sick, right? Oops, a blackout. No. Okay, I was worried. I was worried. So now we are going to talk a little bit more about that. I will ask you to get into a conversation, vamos a get in groups, and I will tell you one situation, okay? Me voy a hacer una pregunta similar to the ones that we saw in the parallel, okay? What happens or what do you do when, okay? The beginning of the question is going to be like this. El inicio de la pregunta va a ser, what do you When okay, so I will tell you the question when I get to the groups. So I'm going to recreate the groups, I will make bigger groups. Okay, the groups are created. Please jump in. Okay, guys, what do you do when there is a blackout? What do you do when there is a blackout at your company? Okay, that's There's your question. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Hello, hello. What do you hello. do when what do you do when there is no what do you do when there is no internet connection? Okay, what do you do when there is no internet connection? That's your question. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. Now teacher. we are going to talk about what do you do when uh, there is problems with plumbing in your company. What do you do when there's problem with the company plumbing? You get it? Plumbing. ¿Qué hace cuando hay tuberías tapadas? Okay. No tenemos baño okay. nosotros. No tenemos baño. Oh, that's unacceptable. Go to the, go to the, go to the, the siguiente árbol. What do you do when your boss, Catherine says, when your boss does not does not come to work? What do you do when your boss does not come to work? Tell me. Party. Party. Oh, yeah. That's cool, Rita. Party. Okay, guys, I'll be back. You need to give me three, at least three sentences, okay? Okay. If the boss does not come to work, we or I, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Remember. 
let's say you need to give me four sentences as a group and your sentences start what was your situation blackout right yes yeah. yes if if there is a blackout or when there is a blackout i or we okay Mirac all your Danilo. sentences are going to start like that okay okay and it's raining cats and dogs yes and pros yeah and toads yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine that's fine i work no ladies oh i'm sorry and pause. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, now remember, remember, all your sentences are going to start. I need one, two, three, four sentences. Your sentences are going to start with if or when. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Roxana is still in the class. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, because I saw you like oh, here. Wow, my Roxana. son is behind me. Yeah, Thank no, because you. I at the beginning I saw you like oh, yeah. I you're don't. almost falling asleep. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow it will be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't drink too much, you know. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. You see the consequences. That's what happens when you party all weekend. <laughs> yeah, don't don't follow don't follow Amber's advice. No le hagas caso a los consejos de Amber. That's the result. I'm gone. <laughs> Hello guys, remember hola, hola, the hola, hola. They always go with when and if. Recuerden que las oraciones que me van a dar siempre inician con when or if. Okay. Okay. You say if there's a problem with plumbing, we or if there's a problem with plumbing, I. Okay. Okay. We're going to wait here just a minute because of the rain. I hope there's no problem with the connection. Hello, Carlos, still on your way? Man. Hello, you live, you live far. Yeah, it's, it's raining. It's raining dogs and cats, my friend. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Take it easy, okay. concentrate, concentrate. Okay, so, sorry, teacher, but I, I would like to participate. Uh, but, uh, no problem, no problem. Okay, thank It's raining really hard. I can see at Walter's house the curtain moving. It's raining back really hard by your house, Walter. Excuse me, excuse me. It's raining really hard. 
it is raining really hard. Llueve mucho. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Here too. In Santa Ana also. Yeah. Yeah, I, I lost I lost the connection some minutes ago because the rain is very, very hard. Wow, that's amazing because I live all the way to, I live in San Martin. I mean, we are very far. Yeah, by the way, I had a blackout some minutes ago. Oh, that's a problem. But yeah, I'm afraid of that. But you know, everything is Roxana's fault. Okay, let's see how Roxana goes like, what? Say what? Okay, guys, let's see. Ouch. That was a big thunder. Okay, let's see. Group number one, I got Fernando, Marta, Walter, Janira. Okay. 